Hi everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel medcac.com. Today our topic is chronic superiority otitis media or CSOM. So, what is CSOM? Chronic superiority otitis media is defined as a chronic infection of middle ear mucosa lining the middle ear cleft characterized by ear discharge and a permanent perforation how can we diagnose such cases in opd here on the picture you can see that it is a normal tympanic membrane where the pars tensa is normal and intact there is no such perforation now come to the otitis media patient's ear drum look at the big hole it is a large central perforation of pars tensa which can be easily visible now you can see the difference properly what happens actually in chronic superiority otitis media mainly chronic superiority otitis media is a result of untreated acute superiority otitis media where there is a middle ear discharge happens from inflammatory response or due to allergy it commonly occurs by an ascending infection via eustachian tube by this way there is a pressure build up in the middle ear and eventually it leads to tympanic membrane perforation a perforation becomes prominent when the edges are covered by squamous epithelium and it not heal spontaneously now come to the epidemiology of this disease incidence is higher in developing countries it affects both sexes and all the age groups with a prevalence in children what are the types of chronic superiority otitis media clinically it is divided into two types tubo tympanic or safe or benign variety and number 2 is atequantal or unsafe variety now we are going to discuss about tubo tympanic type in tubo tympanic type there is a involvement of antero inferior part of middle ear cleft and is associated with a central perforation there is a little rise of serious complications in this type what is the clinical features of tubo tympanic chronic superiority otitis media number 1 ear discharge which is non offensive mucoid or mucopurulent number 2 hearing loss which is mainly conductive type number 3 perforation always central may lie anterior posterior inferior to handle of malleus number 4 middle ear mucosa seen when perforation is really really large number 5 occasionally polyp may be seen okay now come to atequantal type of chronic superiority otitis media it involves posterior superior part of the middle ear cleft in other words atic antrum and mastoid and it associate with atic or marginal perforation of ear drum the disease is often associated with the bone eroding process such as cholesteatoma risk of complication is very high in this case what is the clinical features in case of atequantal type of chronic superiority otitis media number 1 ear discharge it is scanty than the previous one but foul spinning due to bone necrosis number 2 hearing loss hearing is normal when auricular chains are intact or when cholesteatoma conductive or mixed deafness may be seen number 3 bleeding bleeding from granulation tissue or polyp sometime occurs number 4 perforation is atic or marginal type number 5 an invagination of tympanic membrane is seen in atic or posterior superior area 
of pars tensa which is called retraction pocket at the time passes it wraps the promontory and ossicle leaving behind no space in middle ear cavity what are the investigations we should prepare for number 1 examination under microscope number 2 tuning fork test and audiogram it gives assessment of hearing loss number 3 culture and sensitivity of ear discharge it helps to select proper antibiotic ear drops number 4 x-ray mastoids or ct scan of temporal bone to assess the extent of bone destruction in case of atequantal type of chronic suppurative otitis media now come to the treatment number 1 oral toilet try mopping with absorbent cotton buds suction clearance of all discharge number 2 ear drops antibiotic ear drops is mainly used they are combined with steroid which have local anti inflammatory effect number 3 systemic antibiotics number 4 precautions for patients that means keep water out of ear during bathing number 5 treatment of contributory causes like adenoids in nasal allergy number 6 surgical treatment once ear is dry meningoplasty or tympanoplasty can be done to restore hearing number 7 in case of cholesteatoma canal wall down or canal wall up procedures are taken to resolve this situation thank you for watching this video if you have found this video helpful then like and share it with your friend